welcome to game two of the winner's match from BSL Season 12 Hasu League Group C. What a mouthful. Upper right hand corner we have Master Ray as the Peach, Peach Protoss. Upper left hand corner we have Ash Dreamer as the Green Protoss. Feeling much better. I actually feel like this is a nice space for my voice. Feels resonant. Not like... I, where do I put myself? I'm like at 95% better and feeling like optimistic and bouncy as a result. Which is why I felt like casting. I'm like, I'm in a really good mood. I want to cast. It's what I want to do. This is going to be on pal uh, Polypoid. Game 1 went to Master Ray. Through some solid play. We'll see what happens game 2. I feel like Master Ray just has Dreamer's number. At this stage of things. And really... Every match I've gone into, I felt like he's the favorite, right? Putting a pylon near his ramp, interestingly enough. Starting the upper right-hand corner and getting a very early scout. Scouting after pylon. Oftentimes, he's done this and it's actually resulted... He somehow managed to make up the difference. And somehow come out ahead in probes, it feels like, in the mid-game, regardless. We are seeing a gateway after pylon for Dreamer. Which is going to get that sell it out just a hair earlier. Coming just about the same time as Master Ray's. wonder how all that works. Is it just like efficiency based on like where you select? Because I know there's certain tricks you can do mining mineral patches and things like that. But you'd expect like the missed mining time right here would put that gateway a little bit later. Particularly at the distance it's away from the Nexus. I don't know. The Mysteries of Brood War. I know there's a little bit of uh, X Factor as far as like the randomness of the probes and whatnot. But... I, I I digress. Assimilator warping in here. Assimilator warping in there. Mirror builds on both sides. The big difference here is I do not believe that Ash Dreamer is going to be able to stop Master Ray from scouting. Despite scouting clockwise and coming across Dreamer's base last. Comparatively, Master Ray, I believe, is going to be able to stop Dreamer scout. Unless Dreamer gets very lucky and goes straight to Master, Ray ba Master Ray's base First and in a hurry. And it looks like that might be the case. Yeah, actually, moving that probe scout out. Zealot still might be able to blockade the ramp. There is a Zealot opposite side, but even with this Zealot scout, you can see Master Ray's, or with this Zealot scout, with this Zealot, Master Ray able to sneak that probe in. Going to be able to see the Cybernetics core, going to be able to see the three probes on gas. And in the meantime, big advantage. But Dreamer's probe, it looks like Master Ray didn't quite have that Zealot centered on the ramp, so that probe actually able to meander right through. So both players, dead even, mirror builds. It'll come down to, essentially, who has the better decision making and the better micro overall. And I gotta give that, currently, at least what we've seen thus far, to Master Ray. Uh, as far as, like, the <laughs> just flat early game shenanigans. Dreamer. Placing pylons kind of at the exterior corners. I like that pylon placement. Next level pylon placement. Actually scooting out. Both players able to get that probe out. To not sacrifice any mining. Master Ray uncharacteristically actually not kind of scouting. The, I don't think I saw a scout of the corners. To check for any proxy. <clears throat> Maybe relying on the earlier probe scout. But I like what Dreamer's done. Kind of putting these pylons across the corners. To see any sort of early... Robotics facility, something along those lines. Robo Speaking of robotics facility, or is there a shuttle off Robo? Speaking of robotics facility, it looks like Dreamer is opting to go one gate into Robo. Opposite corner, we are seeing a mirror build from Master Ray. I think both players deciding to opt. I, I have a feeling this is going to be one of those like mid, mid macro oriented games. Although Dreamer does have a probe that's kind of wandering out midfield, and I'm wondering, are we going to see proxy tech with this? So as I say, like, ah, I feel like this is going to be now Master Ray doing the same thing with some of these additional pylons. Maybe we're just wanting to go all the way end around to check if there's a Nexus before Observatory. Maybe feeling like, okay, I want to I wanna sneak out a Reaver before Observer. And does see just two Dragoons. I think that probe saw it. Yeah, fleeing from these Dragoons. Dragoons, I don't think are going to be able to catch that probe. So sneaky, sneaky, sneaky probe. Able to wander up, see two Dragoons and a Zealot. And actually getting a lot of information out of that. Range just finishing. We see a second gateway now for Master Ray and a third gateway. So he is re-executing that three-gate observer build to apply pressure. Perhaps take, get a contain, perhaps 
get a third base. We do see a shuttle being built first. Observatory, so actually only just one gate robo. So now the question is, is does Dreamer follow this up with a fast nexus or a fast support bay? And I almost felt like we might see a support bay. Yeah, there's a support bay based on that probe scout. Master Ray's found himself in this situation many times before where he has had... He's gone with a three gate, had superior dragoon counts, and really negated his opponent's ability to utilize the reavers to even things up. There is a second gateway, so this is two gate robo versus three gate observer observatory. Usually on paper, Dreamer should come out ahead in this overall. Master Ray is going to have a bit of a vision advantage. And I don't think he's going to want to plop down his. It's possible he'll cut. Dragoon production, plop down Nexus before moving out, but usually what you do in this situation is you run up with those Dragoons, apply pressure, make sure it's okay before plopping down your Nexus. Second Gateway's warping in, Reaver about halfway finished. The critical thing about applying all of this pressure, though, with those Dragoons is you know that your opponent, even with that Robotech, is going to... Robotech. Is going to be shoved back in his base and have to play defensively with those Reavers. Second Reaver being built. Observatory seeing... No Nexus, and that is provoking the Dragoons to press forward. So this is going to be five Dragoons and a Zealot on the close ground. It looks like Dreamer is going to, fact, in fact, see significant amounts of Dragoons. And Master Ray seeing that Reaver up on the high ground. So I believe what this is going to provoke is Master Ray. Let's see if he stops this round of Dragoons and plops down a Nexus himself. And what happened, it's kind of decision-making time. It looks like he is opting to do that. So he's, no, I take it back. He's continuing with the Dragoon production. Moving some Dragoons to the south. Perhaps anticipating a shuttle. Going for an end around. So it looks like he is opting to go straight aggressive. And maybe go for the contain against this. The second, That's allowing the second Reaver to be fielded. And more Dragoons being produced. Dreamer on the opposite corner. Has scouted in the base. Sees the pylons at the corners. Is moving down with this observer, checking the Nexus. And now we see Master Ray waiting with that probe. But still pumping Dragoons across. Master Ray somehow up 33 probes to 24 in the flat macro. Dreamer moving forward. And I think because of where the observer was, he's got this ninja grouping of Dragoons, which is basically one gateway's worth that he was sneaking to the corner. But killing that observer, if these Reavers get that initial shot, he still might end up ahead. Huge hits on those Dragoons from the north, but we have the flanking Dragoons from behind on top of those Reavers, forcing these Reavers into two corners. The question is, is it going to be enough? One Reaver down, the other scooped up, but I think Dreamer's going to come out with the better part of this bargain, just with the superior tech. The flanking Dragoons weren't quite in position to pick those Reavers off, so now Master Ray in a bit of trouble. He's starting to get closed in on his natural expansion, having to cancel his own Nexus. Two Dragoons running up. One of them is going to die almost immediately. The second one, going to get pinned back otherwise, is trying to pull these units up. Dreamer smelling blood in the water, pushing up. Keep in mind, this is three gateways of productions of Dragoons. A fourth gateway being plopped down. The Reaver has to be in this fight, really, to equalize that damage advantage. Pushing up in great spread on those Reaver hits. The Reaver is now exposed against these two Dragoons. It's taking shots. So Dreamer needs to keep this alive to keep this advantage alive. Now on top of this gateway with three Dragoons and a Reaver working on that forward pylon. If this pylon goes down, that could be huge. But if this hits while all those Dragoons pop, that could be a dangerous situation. Second pylon dropping down. One Dragoon out. Very quickly wiped out. Second Dragoon coming out. They're not coming out. They're coming out a little bit piecemeal. One gateway down. I think that Reaver came all the way around. Master Ray realizing he's in trouble, trying to pull probes off the line. That pylon down. Still, the gateway's powered otherwise. Still scooping up and Dreamer moving more units. Plus, he's got a Nexus warping in in the background, applying all the pressure, and I believe he has won. I'm expecting GG momentarily. Oof, so clever thought. Clever thought from Master Ray to sneak the Dragoons underneath to disguise the fact that he had a third gateway. But Dreamer able to capitalize and jump and get several fantastic Reaver shots off and take that match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to game three, an exciting one. Uh, or maybe it's just my energy today. I'm going to say it's my energy today. <clears throat> going to move on to game three of the winner's match. We'll see if Dreamer can close it out 
Honestly, I expect I still expect both these guys to advance from the group. Crane is kind of the X factor in there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.